Talk to us a little bit about Max, kind of his progression, really since the LSU game, building off of that. And, and you know, he's got so many great physical characteristics, just kind of developing that consistent. What can he do to really take his game to the next level and develop that consistent level of play? I think one of the things that, that, that Max can do is become a better leader. Uh, as you push yourself to become a better leader, you have to be on top of your stuff a lot better. So I think once Max starts to develop as a leader, more of a vocal guy in the secondary speaking, making calls, making checks, I think he'll begin to be more confident and also have more consistency in his play. Because if he wants to be a leader, you want to make sure you're on top of your stuff first. So I think that's the next step for him, uh, which he's taking strides in. He's trying to be more vocal. He's trying to show up front. You know, he's trying to help shoemate, and they're going vice versa. I think they're doing a good job of being consistent. And I think as a group, I think they're starting to mesh. And once they mesh, and get a feel for guys. You know, he likes to press. He doesn't like to press. You know, I like to show. I don't like to show. Whatever it is, I think they, as they begin, as they become more comfortable, I think they become more consistent as well. But Max is doing a really good job of trying to grow as well. Nick Watkins, he's one of the young guys that everybody is kind of excited to see on the field this year. You know, coming out of high school, one of the Under Armour All-Americans, you know, this and that. What have you seen from him? Why do you think he can be a solid contributor this year? I think Nick's probably, from last year to this year, he has the most improvement. Obviously, he's still a young guy, still right. trying to figure his way out. But he's a, he actually taken every practice and worked on something and gotten better. So for a young guy, that's really, really exciting to do. His attention to detail is phenomenal for a young guy coming in. And I think he's, I mean, the sky's the limit for him. You know, he has a big frame, he runs well, smart guy. It's just little things he's got to get used to in technique, but he's, he's grown, like he's grown every single practice, which for us is great to see. Have you had a chance to look at any tape of the incoming guys, like when, when they get here this summer, like a Sean Crawford, for example, you know, another guy that, another under All-American that everybody's really excited about. Um, what, do, what do you see out of him that you think he could possibly contribute right away? I think as a group, all the new guys coming in, the thing they're going to bring both, they're all football players. Right. And I know it sounds like a weird thing to say, but when you come in, they, they, they love the game. Uh, so that kind of cuts down on some of the learning curve. It makes things more natural for them. So we're all really, really excited about the group because they love the game so much. Now, obviously, they all got talent, but we wouldn't recruit them here. Uh, but we're excited to get them in and see what they can do. But above all, I think they're a group of really good football players. So you're back down the field now as a coach. Yeah. Just talk about how exciting it is. And how fun it is. Uh, it's over the top. I mean, I can't. I wake up every morning and like smile from here to here. I mean, I, I, I love being on the field. I love being with the guys and bringing energy uh, and trying to get a feel for them as they try to get a feel for me. But it's, it's phenomenal, especially being back here. What do you offer those guys that maybe the other coaches not that far removed? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think just, just that. The fact that I'm a little bit younger uh, of a coach. Uh, obviously, I've been in their shoes, I've been in their classes. I think uh, they relate to me a little bit uh, easier. I'm easier to relate to than other coaches. Other coaches are a little bit older, uh, mature figures. So with me, they feel a little bit more comfortable, more comfortable coming to me, asking me questions, you know, and I, and I, and I, can, I can push them in a different way.